I think there needs to be an ownership. I think it's quite easy if if you have sales ops or revenue ops uh, team in place because they're working with marketing, they're working with sales, they work with customer success, and best case, they also work with product managers. So then everybody is aligned uh, around that um, ideal customer profile. But of course, if you don't have sales ops, if you don't have a clear ownership, I mean, then sales might have one uh, ICP that they feel that there's good momentum with this type of customers and those are the ones they're selling to. And then maybe customer success is feeling that, well, it's actually slightly different when they look at their best performing segments and then marketing can do complete something completely different. So but I think it's, it, it starts from alignment and defining the ownership. Another aspect is also that um, you need to have sort of the data available so that you can create that ICP. It should be visible in your CRM, in your marketing automation. The moment when you get a new lead or the moment when you prospect a new company, you should know right away if it's part of the ICP or not. Like otherwise, if you need to do lots of research and start thinking, is this an ICP company or not, people won't follow it. But it comes down to actually having that information at your fingertips whenever you do sales, marketing, or uh, work with customers. Exactly. Um, I, I think that because we use HubSpot as the as our CRM and marketing automation. So here's an example. Marketing and sales, we use the same filters when we create lists of companies, basically. So that pretty much aligns us because we use the same data, same filters. So the actions we do uh, are always directed at the same um, audience. Yeah. And I think, I mean, almost always uh, in ICP definition, I think the most uh, commonly used criteria are company size. Very often you have like an enterprise team or maybe you have an enterprise offering and then the number of employees plays a huge role. Sometimes you have a regional business. I don't know, maybe but recruitment services, maybe those are both locally. So then the, actually the location and uh, where the HQ is located is super important. And then the third one is industry, of course, industry vertical. And I mean, that's one of the topics today that if you use standard industry codes, but you want to target e-commerce or SaaS or um, artificial intelligence businesses, I mean, you, you don't find them from standard industry codes. So that's why I think all these data vendors like, like Wine, we need to do a good job so that we can actually serve and provide that ICP for, for, for customers and, and, and users.